वेलकम टू द सेशन मेथलॉजी विथ ए जे आर टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम ए जे आर इनिगो राज आई डिड माई एम ई डिग्री इन मेथलॉजी इन द देन रीजनल इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज ट्रिची एंड वर्क विद एयर एज फैकल्टी फॉर थ्री इयर्स नाउ आई एम वर्किंग विथ सदर्न रेलवे फॉर द पास्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री इयर्स I have decided to explain certain basic concepts of metallurgy which may be helpful to the youngsters entering into the industry. For our discussion I have taken the most common topic tensile testing of low carbon steel sheet. The low carbon steel sheet is frequently used in the industry hence the mechanical properties of low carbon steel sheet is of paramount importance tensile testing one material property that is widely used and recognized is the strength of a material but what does the word strength mean strength can have many meanings so let us take a closer look at what is meant by the strength of a material we will look at a very easy experiment that provides lots of information about the strength or the mechanical behavior of a material called the tensile test tensile testing also known as tension testing is a destructive material science test whereby controlled tension is applied to a sample either as a load for proof testing or until it fully fails The specimen used in a tensile test is prepared according to standard specification. The test piece can be cylindrical or flat. The figure shows the standard dimension of a typical flat specimen according to IS 1608. The gauge length is given by the formula 5.65 into root of original cross sectional area. here the cross sectional area is the multiplication of w and t that is the width and thickness of the rectangular specimen once the gauge length is measured the gauge length is marked on the center of the specimen and it is gripped at the two ends along the gauge length and pulled apart in a machine by the application of a load the load is applied at a rate of 140 kg per minute this is the universal testing machine this machine functions on the principles of pascal's law where oil is sent through a small orifice and a bigger piston is floating the bigger piston is that utm table and the utm table carries the frame and the center of the grip is movable from top to bottom so the specimen now specimen of our interest is placed in between the upper grip and the middle grip and the load is applied slowly using the valve v2 which is in the right hand side slowly at a, at a rate of 140 kg per minute this is the stress strain curve for a typical low carbon steel on the y axis the engineering stress defined as the load divided by the original area of cross section of the test piece is plotted with the strain the strain defined by the change in length divided by the initial gauge length the stress strain curve is starting as a linear portion this is the elastic part of the stress strain curve the stress is proportional to strain in this region this is governed by the hooke's law 
and up to the proportionality limit you can see this is the proportionality limit up to the proportionality limit the stress versus strain stress by strain is a constant and this is the Young's modulus of the material or the elastic modulus of the material this measures the ability of the material to withstand deflections the end of the elastic region is marked with the upper yield point the plastic deformation begins at this point immediately thereafter the stress falls to a lower value known as the lower yield point the reason for the upper yield point and lower yield point is that the there are interstitial elements like carbon and nitrogen they are too large to occupy the voids in ferrite so they segregate in dislocations the dislocations are locked up on account of this and cannot move when a stress is applied after a sufficiently large stress a piling up of dislocation takes place and an avalanche is created lowering the stress required for continuous plastic deformation to the level of lower yield point the engineering stress after that the engineering stress slowly increases and reaches a maximum and then decreases the maximum value is known as the ultimate tensile strength or simply the tensile strength beyond the ultimate tensile strength somewhere in the middle of the specimen a localized decrease in cross section known as necking takes place the material softens by the creation of voids and subsequently fractures at a fracture stress corresponding to a fracture stress okay now what is this work hardening region this work hardening region here the stress strain curve has a positive slope in the plastic region indicating that the stress required to cause further deformation increases with increasing strain a phenomenon referred as work hardening or strain hardening this is a strengthening mechanism which is used in dispersion strengthened aluminium alloys and also in certain austenitic stainless steel while work hardening the hardness increases the strength also increases okay now the percentage elongation to fracture point the percentage elongation to the fracture point is the total elongation and that the maximum that up to the maximum point is the uniform elongation the percentage reduction in area is defined as the decrease in cross sectional area up to the neck at fracture divided by the initial area both percentage elongation and percentage reduction in area measures ductility now there are two properties called the resilience and toughness the resilience is defined as the ability of the material to absorb the elastic energy and mathematically it is given as the area under the stress strain curve up to the proportionality limit see you can have a triangular way that is half into sigma into epsilon here this area under the stress strain curve up to the proportionality limit then what about toughness toughness is the ability of the material to undergo shocks or the material or the energy absorbed by the material total energy absorbed by the material that is the elastic part as well as the plastic part and this is given by the total area under the stress strain curve the complete total area up in the stress strain curve up to the point of fracture thank you